a jet pack. Dudes, I did a bit of climbing with my dad. He wanted to go up the tree, so we did it. And now I'm gonna go to see Ryan. This is my first time during this month. Actually, wait, this is the first time this year that I've gone to, to stay somewhere that isn't here. Weird. I am sweating so hard. Today it is 80, 84, I think it peaked at. Right now it is 82 still. Ridiculous, it's so hot. And, uh,. I feel bad that I can't take Jaff swimming or something, but like, I haven't had the energy to go anywhere today until now. So I'm gonna eat some food and then hitch a ride to, to see him. And then uh, I'll probably upload the, the vlog from his house and then we'll go out and camp somewhere in his, his area. Sorry, you got a valid excuse not to answer your phone. You got a valid excuse not to answer your phone right now. Ow, my hair stuck. Do you want some banana? <laughs> Go right, right more. Not that one. Not that one. That's not safe. You wanna, yeah, get, yeah, get your hands under. Reach over to your left if you can. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People, people in the video yesterday was telling me it, it, it seems like a hundred foot tall because it's about double the house in height. But yeah, they were they were getting sketched out by, by uh, their own fear of heights. Just watching me do all this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Down. This side? Mm-hmm. Hang on. I'm just getting, I'm just getting below you so I can tell you. What's up? No. Okay. Hi buns. What up? Good to see you again. Hello. Little buns. Hi little buns. Pretty epic storm coming in. It's probably gonna rain. I'm there, by the way, but I think you should see the views quickly. I was ability to walk before mm -hmm. going on holiday and whatnot. See those rocks up there? Yeah. That's where I was gonna suggest we started from before. It's actually like our river. Yeah, like nice. we have neighbors across there, but we we own the river. Nice. I don't know how that works. This is Ryan. <laughs> Ryan saved, saved sheep with me yesterday. No, three days ago. We wanted to camp tonight and a thunderstorm is rolling in and it has already started to rain. So we are gonna switch to GoPro mode and go explore. And uh, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly, it's just, it's just teaching people to be healthier if you want to survive. Like that's just common sense. This is this is our first person wonder little trippy stroll. I know he's a big guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. All these guys are watching us. <laughs> Thing, it was for selfish reasons. Yeah. So got case What's the most advertised thing in kind of popular culture? I'd say pizza. And pizza is yeah, just, well, it's just loads of cheesy things in general. Exactly. Like, nobody actually questions it. And 
it, it's more addictive it's, than it's super addictive so what's what's the easiest thing to do when you're young and you don't want to learn how to cook you just buy a lot of pizza yeah, so everyone's making that's... making their bodies like larger and just getting really bad skin i think that's, that's the worst thing yeah i mean if people are super insecure they're not getting any relationships so they're going to be on their own just eating pizzas yeah. for the most part and it's like food. it is comfort food exactly as well as fat and protein with yeah. the wrong kind of protein yeah but it makes your skin break out so you're just going to keep getting uglier and uglier and people don't realize it's like, cheap I was expecting it to rain this whole time. This is, this is, this is pleasant. Yeah, there's a gate on the other side of it. I love that I can film just by turning my body now. <laughs> Such a great spot, what the heck? I've got to come film down here. This is... Port Bella. Say it again. Can we all can? <laughs> oh shit! Shit, you missed that man! No, am I facing the right direction? Am I rolling <laughs> still? <laughs> Glass. <laughs> there is a lot of uh, a lot of that lying around. You might catch yourself and then. Oh. I want to see something explode. Can we get that? <laughs> explode. Please, one boom. <laughs> no, I wanted some like explosions. I wanted lightning and thunder and storm. <laughs> well, two two a.m. is supposed to get it's supposed to get heavy. This is gonna be a weather vlog. Heck yeah! New topic every day. <laughs> I put the dog harness on on um, Jas on my wish list for Jasper, so if somebody gets me it, I can have him wearing the GoPro, <laughs> like I am right now. But it's filming his perspective while I'm doing my own vlog with my big camera. It's a shame you can't like train him to sort of follow you around the same way. Wow. I sit at every river I go past. I go at every single ocean. It's been a goal. I just set a goal. Every time I see a body of water, I have to go in it, and that just made me start having cold showers. And uh, I understand that. Legs are yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Two hikers in the dark. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bye. What? <laughs> yeah, I like it. It brings nature. It brings nature some light. So you can. Yesterday, I did 100 milligrams THC. It knocked me out. That thing. The first few hours, we were just walking, talking in the dark. Got to the beach. There were a bunch of fishermen there just doing their thing. Chilled there for a while and then we did like a loop back on ourselves and came back here and camped. And got here a few hours before I couldn't talk. I was I was completely out of it. First time doing any weed in a couple months, so it just knocked me out. I was a ton of bricks. Woke up this morning like a ton of bricks. Like a sack of potatoes. This video is going up late anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 100 going up late. Kind of I kind of expected that to happen. I didn't even I didn't even use my phone yesterday. I was just just kind of living in the moment, enjoying it. Enjoying being in someone's company for for once because I've been, I've been alone for so long. The weather is so nice still. A bit windy probably. Yeah, it's probably so windy on the mic. But basically, I'm gonna hang out with Ryan again today. So I'll film a little something with him. All the cogs in the machine are beginning to move. It's nice to get out and about. I've been in my house for too long. Weather's really, really unpredictable today, so I don't know what we're gonna expect. So I've just edited all this footage, and I realized that a lot of the GoPro stuff I filmed last night was just gibberish. There was just an hour of GoPro gibberish, so I cut out most of it. Uh, yesterday, okay, right, what did we do yesterday? So, so I decided to dose. I did some RSO for the first time in ages, some rinks and some oil. Did about 100 milligrams, and usually I could handle it fine, but obviously since this stuff had a tolerance break, it hit me so hard and I... I wasn't really, just wasn't exactly capable of making coherent thoughts. Like, we, it opens me up. Weed opens me up and makes me very social for the first three or four hours. But then after the peak, it's just kind of like, I become a sack of potatoes. So, yeah, yesterday's vlog wasn't so coherent. So I don't know what we're going to do today, but 
It's uh, cloudy, it's rather rather chilly. We're probably gonna go for another adventure and then I'll go home tonight. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for, for South Wales. Tomorrow we're going to South Wales. So, uh, the cogs are all moving. Something I wanted to say is like the reason the reason I like to go sober for a while is because it really helps me focus on just creating, just making stuff. When my thoughts are scattered in that way and like I'm thinking in a completely different way, I want to write down those thoughts, but I can't work on my normal stuff while I'm in those states. So taking an edible was like it really it really put a halt to my 25 day streak, my drive to create. It made me kind of relax more. I've been in work mode so much lately, like just create mode, just constantly doing things. And it, it allowed me to slow down and really breathe and just kind of be present, which I feel like I haven't been very much this past few, past few weeks. So I'm, I'm happy I did it, but I don't think I'll be doing it again if I'm gonna continue being productive, because it for sure takes the productivity completely out of me. I don't know if that's for everyone else, but that's what weed does to me is it'll suck my productivity away but it'll give me all these creative ideas that I can use later on. I'm feeling a bit more awake now. My whole body feels a bit stiff, so I'm gonna have to move around a bit and I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do today. We might trip, so frick. Yeah, anyway, I know today was a bit of a strange one. I'll, um, yeah, I don't know. I will make something else today. <laughs> My thoughts are so, so bleh. Uh, I'm gonna edit this and then start working on today's video. So I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. If you, watch, if you wanna watch yesterday's video, it's here on the screen. And, and uh, subscribe, I'm here every day. And that is all. Catch you guys uh, in the next one.